don't know if she can hear me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll see a picture of it. The Northern Lights. Um, so yeah, it gives you a place to travel for each month. It's different. So I thought this was a fun article. I wish I could do that, travel to a new country, a new city each month of the year. That'd be way cool. Um, yeah. Let's see what questions I have for you guys today. How is those locations are really apart from the others, like South Africa, New Zealand, and Quebec? Yeah, they're all around the world, so you'd have to have like a ton of money to be able to do these trips. <laughs> yeah. Because you're just going to a different part of the world each month. <laughs> Okay, my first question for you is, do you like cities, beaches, or rural areas better? What kind of places do you like to travel? Frankly, I like to go to the cities if I'm yeah. going to a different country. Because rural areas are like everywhere. I can see them in my country. So there has to be something special like waterfalls or a different kind of animal like unicorns. <laughs> I mean, if there were unicorns, I would be there. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> well, I mean, there has to be something to attract me. I I like natural beauty and uh, landscapes, but I mean, if I'm going to travel the country, that wouldn't be my priority to travel. Well, it has to be like a um, some kind of reason that you're going on this trip, right? Like a rock climbing trip, a hiking trip, yeah. a um, camping just, trip, something, right? Yeah, you just want to go to there to just see the, how beautiful the nature is. Let's go is. sit in, in a prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at some cows. No, there's yeah. going to be a reason. Well, you can watch cows for hours. Maybe for five minutes, then you get bored. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi, where do you like to go? Do you like to go to cities, beaches? Yeah. Um, what I kind like of locations? Yeah, I like to travel in the city side. Okay. Sometimes oh, nature, maybe it's very good, but only staying one day or two days, I get bored. Okay. At the first, I enjoy the beach side or mountain side. Mm hmm but always like the same. The, I hate oh, the snakes or reptiles. Or insects. You don't like the wildlife. <laughs> I think it depends what I'm doing. Like my friend and I were trying to plan a rock climbing and trekking trip across Vietnam, and we only had a week to travel in the whole country. We were gonna do. Vietnam is very long, north to south. It is yeah. very long. Um, so we didn't have enough time to do our, to follow through with our plan. Um, by train, it takes like days to get from north to south, and then we needed to catch a flight. So we ended up staying in the city in Ho Chi Minh instead. Mm -hmm. But I really like nature. Um, I like hiking and I like rock climbing, and I like being outside a lot. Um, so I can do it for long periods of time. I don't like camping because I don't like being dirty. I like taking showers and feeling clean. But mm. I think if I am doing something and I'm physically active, I like to be in nature a lot. And away from cities. But I also like if I have not been to a city before or if I have a favorite city, I like experiencing the city. Like, Ho Chi Minh is one of my favorite cities, and um, Edinburgh, Scotland is one of my favorite cities. But I also like being in nature, too. Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> How do these people talk? Like, can you I cannot them? do a Scottish accent, but they're so lovely. They're, like, the nicest people ever. And I had an uncle from Scotland... And he was living in London, so when I was living in England, um, he was like the friendliest person. He invited me over to his house, and we would have dinner all the time. And there's like Irish people. 
or different than Irish. They're people. different than Irish. Their, their, um, their accents is... are very different. Different. And yeah, and Scotland is like it has lots of castles, and ah. <laughs> it's very dark and gray. Uh, but um, like the people are so friendly, and it's. I don't know, I get like this vibe in the city that I just love. It makes yeah, it one of my favorite cities. Yeah, all I know cities. about uh, Scotland mm -hmm. is the character in Simpsons, you know, Billy. I'm yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because like half my family is from Scotland. We're like half Scottish. Maybe that's why I like it. Like, like it's uh, um, uh, ginger hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, what's his name? I like big city than Paris and uh, Rome or mm -hmm. New York. Uh, staying uh, outside of a coffee shop. Yeah, uh, I love coffee shops. <laughs> watching passerby. And I visit a museum or a park. Mm -hmm. I like um, sweet food. <laughs> yes. New and, York uh, is I, one of my favorite cities too. I like going to the open market. Yeah, that's so I like haggling with <laughs> the owners. <laughs> um, that's so fun too. Like just experiencing the culture in cities and being able to do that, like sit at cafes and going to markets and things like that. <laughs> and uh, window shopping. <laughs> yeah. Heidi, do you have a favorite city? Um, I like Paris. Yeah. There are many monuments and. Um, People came from other world, so mm -hmm. I enjoy a different kind of people. Yeah, there's so much art, and and it's like old art and history, and I really enjoy that. And the streets are very beautiful. Yeah. There are many museums. Mm -hmm. Good. So um, we are talking about whether or not you like the beach, the city, um, being out in nature when you travel, like what kind of location do you like to be in? I like the beach. You like the beach? Yeah. Because you're from the uh, area with the beach, right? Yeah, and there are a, a lot of beach in my country. Copacabana? <laughs> like the song? Mm -hmm. Um. So you like being near the ocean? Yeah. Ocean. Which ocean? Pacific or Atlantic? But it is the um the Gulf of it's one of the Gulfs, right? Gulf which which one? What did you Which body of water are you near? What part of the water? I don't understand. Like Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean? Ah, like Gulf of Nicaragua is, is have access to the two to the two oceans in Atlantic and in Pacific. Both of them. Yeah, because we are in the center of America. We are yeah, the America, so we are uh, the country oh. in the in the in the center of of the old continent. So did you go to both of them or just one? Yeah, the both one. So which one do you like better? Uh, I like I don't know the. the <laughs> Sorry, I forget the name. They're both different, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Um, going to <laughs> the name of, of the beach or the name of the ocean? Which ocean do you like better, the Pacific or the Atlantic? The Pacific. The Pacific? <laughs> it's bigger. I like yeah. the Pacific. Um... My family, we used to go to the ocean in Oregon a lot, and that's the Pacific Ocean. It's very nice. It's it's a lot different than the Atlantic Ocean. Why? Um, 
it's cooler and the waves were different. Is that about the ocean or yeah. the place that you're swimming? Well, and the beach in Oregon is different. Like, I know California is, like, known for their beaches and, like, their weather is always very warm. But Oregon is further north and it was always very cool when we would go. And it's not, like, a sandy, warm beach. It's, um... It's the northwest of the United States. There are a lot of pine trees and cool, cloudy weather. So um, it, was, it wasn't really a layout on the beach and get a tan kind of a place. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was very relaxing. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, well, today we are going to talk about a letter... O versus a sound it makes, the O sound versus an A ah sound when we use the letter O. Um, hang on a second. So when, when you have the word or the letter O all by itself, typically it's pronounced like an A, ah, like an A-H. Ah. Like you're saying, ah, Correct. ah. So words like not, got, forgot, thought, and stop. Do those all have like an O sound or an ah sound? Yeah. Mm. Which one? Ah. Ah, like ah, Eureka. Yes. <laughs> we all have an ah sound. So it's more like a short A. Ah, instead of O. Oh. It's like an <laughs> ah, open wide. Okay. Um, there are a few more. They're spelled sometimes with O U. Bought is one. Got. Thought. Doll. Um, how many more? Sometimes they can just be spelled with an O, and sometimes they will be spelled with an O-U. So thought, mm -hmm. bought. Taught is A-U, but it's a similar sound. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, instead of O. Got, um, let's see. Can you think of any more? Sought. Sought. Trying to find something. I sought it out. Color. Oh, color. Spelled that way. <laughs> My Canadian friends would love you. <laughs> In America, we spell it just with an O. Yeah, I know. The other Gotham, Canadian teacher yes, forced Gotham. me to type it like that. Who did? Another Canadian teacher on Colinga. <laughs> Teach, teacher. Yes. How how do you pronounce this word? Though. The. Daughter, good. Yes, though is um, an O sound. Instead of ah, it's O, like round O. Okay. Daughter, good. It's an ah sound. Like ah, open wide. When the doctor says, say ah, that's the sound you're making. Busted. Um, busted is more of an uh, uh, uh sound. Short uh. Mm -hmm, a short uh. Then caught. Caught would be a good one. Yeah, this is more like an ah, uh, like a rounder sound, and... Busted is an uh, like a very short uh, like a burst. Sought, yep. Mm -hmm. Anything else you can think of right now? No. Taught, did I say that one? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, thought, couch. 
Um, ow, ow, ow. That's a little bit different. That is an ow, like you're, um, like you're hurt. Like, ow, when you fall down. Ow. It's a very round sound. Ow. Like, almost like a W, yeah. Ow. Owl. Same thing. Ow. Ow. Instead of ah, like owl or couch, it's a very, it's a much rounder sound. More closed mouth. Owl, couch. You're saying the W. Howl, same thing. These are just um, O, or sometimes O U, and sometimes those W words and couch included are um, you pronounce the W. Mm -hmm. Very wa wa wa. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Or like Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah. All right, grammar. Today we're gonna be working with past tense verbs that end in ed and irregular past tense verbs. So any past tense verbs that end in ed. Um, I looked. I. Um, <laughs> I can think of one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I looked, I listened, I walked, I talked. He, um, he was, I can't think. <laughs> he talked. He, um, yeah, I'm drawing blanks right now. <laughs> but we're going to be working with a regular past tense too, which is what I'm actually thinking of. Um, he wrote. He thought. I was at school. I ate. Um, I took the bus. Brought. I drove a car. Um, slept. I slept in my bed. Um... Words that do brought. not end in ed in the past tense. What? Brought, set, brought. cut. Yep. Um, there is one type of irregular verb that ends in an ott sound in the past tense. So that ought sound that we just worked on. So by turns into bought. Bought. Teach turns into taught. Taught. Think turns into thought. 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 Catch turns into? Caught. Fight turns into? Fought. Good. So that's that same ought sound. Ought. Ah, ah, ah. Open wide. Ah. Um, then there is another type of irregular verb that changes in the last vowel sound. So get turns into? I'm sorry, just turns it changes in the last vowel. So literally, there is a vowel in the word, and that is what's going to change. Got. So get turns into got. Drink turns into? Drunk. Drink. 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 Drunk. drunk. Well, what is drunk? Uh, what? Past first. What? The guy who's drunk. Somebody's drunk. They, like, had some alcohol, right? Uh. Forget turns into? Forgot. 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 Or forgot. Give. Forgot. Forgot. Okay. Spit turns into. Spit. Dot. What? Dot. Spell it for me. Uh, dot. S A T. Spit. What Heidi just wrote. Ah, spit. Uh, it's, it's another word. There is a past tense for it, and one vowel changes. Spat? Mm-hmm. Spat. S-P-A-T. Um, fall. What does fall turn into? Which root? Fall. Fell. Fell. Run. Ran. Ran. Yeah. Right. Wrote. 
Throw. 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 Yep, throw. Throw a ball. Two. Through. Two. Okay, how do you spell this word? How do you spell through? T H R E W. Good. If I'm going through something, like through the doorway, or I am um, talking about time, like I am going to class from Monday through Friday, how do I spell that through? T H R O U G H. G H. Good. I know so many people who speak English fluently, like natural English speakers, who cannot spell those correctly. Like, they spell it that through, T-H-R-O-U-G-H, like this through, through a ball. <laughs> and I am typically, like, a grammar person, and they'll write Facebook posts, <laughs> and spell it incorrectly and it just annoys me so much. <laughs> so if you get that right, good job. Um, how about drive? What's past tense? Draw. Good. Okay, and then the most common irregular verbs change a lot. Am, are, and as. What are those in the past tense? Uh, was were. Was and were. Eat turns into? Eight. Eight. Go turns into? When. Went. See? Saw. So. So. Take. Took. Took. And then there are so many more. <laughs> there is like an endless, endless list. Um, okay. Any questions? Any verbs that you have always wondered about? No. 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 Yeah, there's a website. There's a website? Okay, there's always a website. Oh! <laughs> what? Is this a real thing? Is it going to lead me to like some spam? What the hell is that thing? Yeah, you can see. Okay, I'm going to send you the link to this 12 trips again. There you go. And I'm going to screen share it with you. And I will be back in two seconds. Okay. One, two. <laughs> hmm. It's never two yeah. seconds. Yeah. She didn't come. <laughs> then I guess we should leave. <laughs> Take two two seconds to leave, but not to come. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi, where do you come from? You are where is your country? From Japan. Japan? Oh. I like Japan. I always uh, saw you in the in the class of, of, of I don't know how is how is the name of the teacher. Um, okay, I am back. Oh yeah. Char Char Ready? Char Charlene, the teacher is pregnant. I don't know what is the name. Oh yeah, she's about to have her baby. Yeah, I don't know what is the name? Char Char Charnay Char Charnay. Charnay. Charnay is the name. Mm -hmm. Oh, teacher. Yeah, do you I, know I her? She was pregnant for eight months. Yeah. I, yeah, I that's typically saw. how um how long people are pregnant for. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I always I, I always saw uh Heidi in in the class of Shanae. You, you typically take her class. Uh, 
before um, I I have like four months in Colingo, mm -hmm. but but when Colingo was free, I couldn't come in in a class because oh, oh, because always was full. Yeah. So I I I always saw the classes in the lobby, and I. And, and I always saw uh, a hype in that classes. Huh. Yeah, um, classes were very full um, when it was free before. Actually, and I know. Shanae was the first person I talked to from Kalingo. Actually, her what? Yeah. Her kid's name will be Troy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I, I always saw the class of Shanae in the Caitlin. And what? The Caitlin. 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 Catherine. Yeah. She left. The, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't recognize that name. She was here for like nine months, then she left. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Is this big enough? Yeah. Why stay home when there are 195 or 196, depending on whom you ask, countries out there with so much to show off? Granted, spending January in the middle of Moscow won't do your poor circulation much good, and July in New Delhi requires industrial strength antiperspirant. But for each month, there's a perfect city, and conversely, each city can be best enjoyed in a specific month. Here's a year-long guide to the when, where, and why. January... Tromso or Kirkenes, Norway. Why? The chance to shorten your bucket list, specifically to mark off the northern lights. Although the aurora borealis can be spotted anywhere between latitude 65 and 72 degrees, Norwegian towns such as Kirkenes, Tromso, Alta, and Svalbard offer ringside seats, especially in the winter. Sail Norway's fjord line coast on board a Hurtingruten cruise ship and the crew will provide wake-up calls when viewing is best. If snowmobiling and dog sledding under shimmery green curtains of solar particles colliding with atmospheric gases aren't on your bucket list, you just need better gloves. By the report to quote Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen, there is no such thing as bad weather, weather only inappropriate clothing. What you should avoid, or who should avoid, anyone dead on maintaining a year-round suntan. February Rio de Janeiro. If you thought the Brazilian costumes were crazy during the Olympics, wait until you see them at Carnival de Rio, or Carnival in Rio. Millions jam the streets for exuberant samba dancing, drumming, and wild displays of joy. Christ the Redeemer, the world's largest Art Deco statue, watches over it all from Corcovado Mountain. You don't have to be tall or tan or young or lovely to enjoy Ipanema and Rio's other famous beaches, but you do need a bikini, the skimpier the better. Sunny and hot, average 32 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for the beach and revealing outfits. You should avoid prudes who believe women should stick to turtlenecks. March, New Zealand. Why art, food, weather, in addition to the year-round views? Although you want to spend time in the forward-thinking Kiwi city of Auckland, maybe taking in the 2013 Auckland Arts Festival, this is the perfect month to get out in the country where adorable lambs are everywhere, magically bounding from one beautiful hillside to another. It's still warm enough for a day at the beach, yet fall colors are starting to abrupt. Plus, where else can you take in a food festival that celebrates foraged food? The Hokitika Wild Foods Festival offers such delicacies as hoo-hoo grubs, sheep brains, gorse flower wine, and wasp larva ice cream. Yum. Okay, I'm going to skip these little weather reports and who should avoid. April, Phuket, Thailand. Why get a jump on your tan? When deciding on which of Phuket's sandy beaches to put down your blanket, start at the Big Buddha, a 45-meter white jade icon with 360-degree views of Thailand's biggest island and the Andaman Sea. Just know that arguments are fierce as to which beach is best. There's one for every taste, from hard-to-find banana beach to upscale resorts such as the Amman Puri. May, Tokyo. Cherry blossom photos minus other tourist backs and heads. During May's Golden Week, when everybody flees the city, Japan's capital is as empty as you'll ever find it. The city's 160,000-odd restaurants are practically empty, re well, sorry, relatively speaking, and you might even get a bid in at one of the 1,000 stalls in 
Tsukiji Central Fish Market. Carp streamers known as koinobori, is that correct, um, are flying. The mountains are a lush green, and by the time everyone returns to the city, you'll be going the other direction, to the countryside or Kyoto or Hokkaido, where the cherry blos blossoms and accompanying hanami parties are just starting to bloom. June, Seoul, South Korea. Why to perfect your golf swing? Ever since 2009, when Y.E. Yang came from behind to knock out Tiger Woods in the Hazel Teen PGA Championship, becoming the first Asian male to win a major, golfing in South Korea has taken off like a battle rocket. With the President's Cup to be hosted here in 2015, and lots of new upscale private clubs opening, many that resemble modern art museums, South Korea is becoming a legit golf destination. July, Tanzania and Kenya. To experience the Great Migration, when thousands of wild beasts and zebras move across the sun-dried landscape of the Serengeti. Okay, I'm going to go kind of quick now. August, Quebec City, Quebec. Why, it's, while it's roaring in the, west, the rest of the northern hemisphere, this 400-year-old city with cobblestone streets, eclectic cafe culture, and non-stop entertainment rings in with perfect temps. September, Cape Town, South Africa. Why? It's naturally beautiful throughout the year, but Cape Town is in prime spring form with flowers sprouting everywhere. But because it's technically off-season, airfare and hotel bargains are available for bargain hunters. October, Munich, Germany. The ultimate party is in full swing. Despite its many imitators, the original Bavarian Oktoberfest, where beer isn't classified as alcoholic, but as a health drink, is hard to top. November, Sydney, Australia. With more than 50 beaches and 300 days of sunshine, there's no such thing as a bad time to visit the city. December, London. Why Charles Dickens? No sooner did sweaty Olympic bodies pack up their medals and go home than London began unpacking its impressive holiday decorations. The sweet-spirited Cratch Cratchits left a legacy that England's capital doesn't take lightly. Okay. I was going to go kind of quick. <laughs> All right. Is there a city on there that you guys want to go to? London in Japan. London and Tokyo? Yeah. Any specific reasons? Um, Japan because... I like the culture and in the anime and London because I think it's a great city. I saw too much in the movies and I, I like the, the the city. Yeah. It is I don't know really, sorry, go ahead. how is the people. I the people in the London? People. Yeah, but 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 the city seems seems nice. Um, I was there in December. It said to go in December, and that's when I was living in England, um, and it was really lovely. It was nice. It was all, it was Christmas time, so it was it was nice. Well, we are alone again. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Rakan go? I don't. Heidi said she had to go, but for Khan left when I was reading. Do you do you think it's about the topic? I don't know. Maybe. Mm, I guess it's because uh, I have I don't know how, how many weeks I, I, I have in Colingo. I, I guess three. Mm -hmm. And I only so I I only um, get I only take class for for for, for you because. This, this is the only hour I can. Okay. And if I if if if, if I remember, all the topics are about music and travel. I <laughs> have a lot of music and travel classes. Um, do you think yeah. I should ask for more or different topics? I guess, teacher. Yeah. Too many uh, similar topics. I guess, teacher. It's an it's an advice of a of a customer. <laughs> yeah. I will request more. I do find that when I try to make my classes, it is difficult because I'm 
they're always very similar. Like, I already yeah. did this. <laughs> uh, I, I, I visit a, a, a web page with different art, with, with, with different article features, and mm -hmm. I will give you that, that page because they, they have a lot of articles every day with okay. different topics. Okay. Uh, it's a, dig? Uh, I know Dig. Do you know Dig? Mm -hmm. I haven't it's looked a, at that for my articles for class, but I will, I will look at it. They have a lot of articles about so many topics. Okay. Um, what topics do you like? If I am going to request um, for my next um, lesson planning, what kind of topics do you like to talk about? I don't know. For example, mm -hmm. I like the topic, the unusual topic. For example, like the article of yesterday I gave you about the coffee and the beer. Mm -hmm. That article, I saw that article in Indeed.com. Um, I visit every day the deep dot com to 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 read something, and and based on that, I like the article about new techniques of experiment, or I don't know something weird that happened in the world, or I don't know in curious thing, things about people or or behavior of the people. Okay. So, something like that. I don't know. I, I I I don't read too much about politics or or war. I, uh, I okay. like the I like the topic and 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 unusual topic. I will see what I can do. I don't know. Do you do 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 you think that you are you are uh, make a lot of class with the same topic? Yes, I do. Um, when I make my classes, they are um, based on specific topics. So I have a class every week that is a travel class, or many classes that are travel classes, and many classes that are music classes, and then a couple news classes, and a couple sports and fitness classes. So those are the topics that I have to base my lessons on. Um, so oftentimes they are similar type of discussions. Uh, but you 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 pick up that that topic because it's it's part of the plan of Colingo gives you or what? Yes, um, I picked out my interest, what I like to talk about um, in when I started teaching. So all of my classes are based off of that. But I can I can extend what I want to talk about now, if I want. Like if I say, hey, I would like to, I would like to also talk about um, lifestyle. And art and books and I don't know what else. <laughs> I can see if I can add some more topics. Uh, then, uh, for for example, right now I am seeing deep.com and I'm going to say I'm going to tell you what is the article that, that I like. For okay. example, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, for example, this article about Google and Google say Gmail user shouldn't accept email pri privacy. Sound interesting because so many people use G Gmail. Mm -hmm. I like that kind of article. Or so, like a technology topic that would be interesting. I read an article the other day that talked about um, 
it was a debate about why are there more boys interested in science in school than girls. I thought that was interesting. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that too. I, I like that, that kind of topic too. Okay. Uh, I, I think things like that would be interesting. Teaching. Like um, some technology and maybe education and more news. Uh -huh. I think current events are very interesting. For example, here, here, I, uh, here, there are there is another article that I'm going to read after after your class. Uh, that's called "Who Gave This Asshole 6.5 Million to Launch a Browse a Browse." <laughs> um, what was that website you gave me the other day about the beer article? What website was that on? The beer uh, and coffee. Was that Medium? I don't remember. I I, I saw in dig.com and, and I read and I copied it. Oh, was on dig. Yeah. Medium.com seems to have a lot of good articles. Mm hmm I don't know. Maybe once in a while you need to change a little a little your 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 topic, I think. Mm hmm ah, um, I, I, I have an, another question. Yes. Um, of in a, in a, in addition of, 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 of your topic I, I think that the, the student always, for example, uh, for, for example, today we, we, we have the grammar of had to. Yes. Yeah, and had to. And I remember that the last week uh, we, 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 we saw the, the same grammar. Mm -hmm. uh, is part of your program too? Or you, that that or is part too? of um, what Klingo gives me to teach you. But do you think you have it? Um, do you think you have it down? Do you know it? I don't understand that. that, that. Do you think you understand the grammar? Yeah, I understand yeah? the grammar. Yeah. See, I think you do too. And a lot of my students are returning students. Um, but if I had new students every week, I think it might be a little bit different. They might not know the same concepts. Yeah, I, I, uh, I am, uh, I am, I am, I, I agree with that because, uh, like a new student, mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, they didn't know the grammar and, and all the stuff. Right. So it's a little bit boring for you if you do it again and again, <laughs> right? Kind, kind, kind of teacher, but I mean it's I, good I, to I, get it um, to for repetition because that's how you learn a language is to do it again and again. Yeah, because but it sounds but, to me like you have it down, like you know it. You seem to understand it, mm -hmm. which is why I think for con left. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's, it's, I guess I think okay. is the is the is, is the same with 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 Forkan because I I saw a Forkan in a in, in his video and I I don't know I I see I saw a Forkan talk very well and mm -hmm. I and, and and I am wondering why he is here because I I think he he speaks very well. Yes, he does speak very well. His English is um, it's fluent. Yeah, very fluent. I don't know. Maybe I think it is good to have conversation. Um, he gets conversational English. He might not have that uh, where he is from. Mm. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to discuss it with him, so I don't know. No, teacher. I get this from Turkey. He he is from Turkey. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I don't know. I think you need to change a little bit the class with the older okay. students. 
Yes, because I know you guys are returning students. You um, you come often. You've been coming every day, so I know you don't want to work on the same thing every single day. Yeah, I like I like practice the conversation because I, I have a lot of friends. Oh, you are you 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 are teacher, no? Are Sorry. You, are you teacher, no? Yes. Uh, for example, I. I if if you notice I guess you all you all I guess you already notice I I have a problem with the stutter stutter with what stutter stutter I I don't notice very often no stutter stutter yeah I have I have problem with a stutter, a stutter, stutter. The only time I am noticing is when you say the word stutter. <laughs> you don't seem to have a problem with it. I think you speak very well. Mm, no, because uh, every, every, for for example, right now, every time that, I, that every time that I am stuck is is because I I have I have the problem. Okay. Some time if some some time if it doesn't because I I don't know the word or mm -hmm. I don't know the pronunciation is because I am stuck with with my problem. Okay. So I want to ask you how do you deal with that kind of problem with with person with with that kind of problem. Um. Do you have a technique of of breath or or exercise to make with with the with the breath? With your breath, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Do you notice a certain time when you are doing it more? Is it when you are nervous or anything? Um, I don't know. The when I when I was a child, I have the problem with my native language. But okay. but I, I I was practicing and and I and I and, and I just stopped to and I and I left the problem. But right now with the new language, the 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 problem will uh, will will come again. So I guess it's it's about a physical problem. I guess I don't know. Okay, but you don't notice it at any specific time, like if you are um, maybe unsure of yourself or um, the words you are saying. It's just it kind of happens. It, I don't know. It it happens randomly okay. because because sometimes I I I get stuck in simple words that always uh, talk. Mm -hmm. And sometimes only happen when when simple words, for example, uh, disrespectful. For example, uh, for example, I say I said that word without without the problem. But sometimes I I get I I get stuck with with that kind of word. I don't know why. Hmm. I I I guess I guess is is because I don't I don't I don't take a, a long breath before to talk. <laughs> that may might be why I'm not sure. Um, because I have never I've never worked with anything like that before, so I don't have any specific suggestions because I don't know. But maybe if you um, I don't want to tell you anything that is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably. but um, from from a teaching standpoint, um, yeah. For, I guess it's not the first time that you will you you will uh, encounter with 
with other students with, with that with big problem. Yeah, I have not noticed it. Yeah. I think if you have confidence in what you are saying and keep practicing, then you will do fine. Oh, now, now you, you, now you know when I, when, when you see me stop, it's because I have that kind of problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I don't think it's a problem. I think that you are doing great. And don't worry about it. And it is something that will lessen if you do not focus on it too much. Okay. Okay. I think if you focus on it too much and worry about it, then it might become a problem. But for example, be, before to talk, I think my sentences and and I repeat the sentence in my head, mm -hmm. or 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 when I am alone, and I say it uh, well. But when I go into talking class, I I always talk. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I think you do a great job. I have never noticed a stutter before, so I don't I don't think it's a problem. Well, and especially when you read, when you have read articles in class, I think you do an excellent job. Ah, uh, that that is other that is other other topic because when uh, when when I am reading, mm -hmm. I am I I don't have the problem. I, so only you're when, focusing on the words. Yeah, I am. Focusing Maybe you're on the just words. unsure of what words to use, and that's why you're doing it. Do you think that might be why? Maybe that I don't know, uh, but I, I, but I don't know why sometimes I I I stuck in simple words. I don't know. I need I need to practice. Uh, Maybe if you practice. Uh, practice. I I I guess it's it's a matter of the kind of how or how to breath how. How to take up a breath on being before the talk. Hmm. Have you ever seen My Fair Lady? No. I relate everything to movies in my brain. <laughs> 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 um, my Fair Lady old, old movie. Mm -hmm. And this girl, played by Audrey Hepburn, is from a poor area of London. She has a Cockney accent, so her accent sounds like um, it is what would be considered trashy. Like she um, she doesn't sound proper or very nice. So this man teaches her how to speak well, and they're British, so he has like a nice London accent, and he mm. makes her say certain things, and he makes her put marbles in her mouth. When she talks, mm -hmm. and it kind of it teaches her how to how to speak properly, <laughs> but it might um, it might make you laugh and like get some inspiration. <laughs> but I think you do a perfectly fine job, and maybe if you just um, figure out your specific words or phrases you need to work on, and practice them again and again like I am also learning a new language and I know it's difficult and it takes a lot of repetition that's the big thing is like saying the same words again and again like no matter how much I practice the same letters in Korean I'm still confused months later and like trying to get numbers down like <laughs> it's just like saying them again and again and again and again so I think okay. just Keep practicing, and you will do great. You are already doing great. Thank, thank you. Ah, I, I, I take, I take your time again, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> and I am going to bring up my class topics. So, I mean, my schedule is already made for the rest of the month, but I will have new topics. I will talk okay. to Kalingo about it, and maybe get some more. Variants, some different things to talk about, okay? 
So diversity. make it more interesting for you. <laughs> okay, more diversity. More diversity. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, and keep asking questions in class. Okay. Same. Okay. See you, Thank teacher. Thank you so much. Tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you to you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.